Hi, in this video, we will tackle SMS sending with Splinks. Actually, any SMS platform that supports REST API can be connected to Splinks. For example, in this case, we'll be using SMS API service, but also you can use bulk SMS, Twilio, or any other. Splinks SMS sending can be used for auto notification of customers, for sending them reminders, or just sending them single SMS messages. Let's take a look on the configuration itself. I have Splinks installed here, and also I have account on SMS API. Uh, this is the service that has a REST API connection, smsapi.com. Um, the most important things here for me are the API settings. I need to get the token. So this is the token. Let's generate a new one, because once I generate it, I cannot copy and paste it. So I need to generate a new access token. I will call it Splinks. And I copy this, and then I will use this token for my authentication. That's the token. Um, to understand how to connect it, we need to read the documentation of their API with a description to understand what is the JSON format and what is the authentication. Let's take a look on that and let's take a look on the configuration of Splinks itself. In Splinks, we need to go to config and open SMS configuration under main. And then you see that it requires URL, payload, method, content type, and uh, this is for sending. And then there is an authentication header that we can use and SMS API uses the authentication header. And then we set up uh, the URL for getting and checking SMS balance that can be run once per five minutes or once per day. And then if the balance is lower than one or 10 or 1000, then it will send us the email notification. So to get this data, as you remember, we already have uh, this authentication token. We need to read a bit about their API description. So if I go to a single SMS, and this is a description of the call. So you can see that the header is authorization, beer, and there is a token. And then there is a JSON message that has uh, the URL that we need to use from, to, and the message. So we need to copy and paste this data. And let's go there and just copy this and just add it here. And uh, payload. So payload format is this one. From to message method is post in our case and it's a JSON message okay uh, you know this from is quite important for SMS API service they have a special field that is called senders so we need to apply for our name that will be displayed as a sender and in this case it's just a test so I can use this test value put it there so now it's ready to sending the messages and uh, the authentication. We need also to copy and paste this data, authorization and value, as you see, so here is the basic, but in their case, it's a beer and that's what I put there, space, and then I copy and paste my key that I generated and the phone number that I'll use for testing. Save. And now we can run test and we will see if the message is sent or not. So you see that it's sent it from test to this number with a message test SMS. And this is the message OK, which is the last response. And we got everything working. Uh, the check SMS balance. Again, under API documentation, we can find out how to get uh, this balance, here is the account balance, and you see this is again, it's a SMS uh, API URL is different. So we need to use again the same authentication, but the different URL and the value is called points, points zero. So in my case, I have 
zero zero eight okay even less because some message was sent already zero zero five so what i need to do there i will set up this url profile and the field name they call points so i put points there and Splinks will check these points and if the points will be less than one it will send me the email so and where i want to send the email alexsplinks.com so that's my email request method get points once per five minutes or once per day is enough for me and save it and again we can make a call we can run a test and with test you see the balance it receives it sends me back the balance value so now our platform is ready to send sms messages can we send one single sms yes we can let's select the customer and let's make an action send the welcome message as you see it's a sms by default pre-selected and there is a welcome message that will be sent to the customer i can make a preview so you can see dear mike welcome to get Redis customer portal link to portal is this one your login password best regards so i can send this message right now uh, if you want to use these variables you can find them here on the splinks documentation system templates variables so you can just type in google variables for splinks and then they will this page will appear immediately uh, there are some basic values of the system, the customer information, invoice information, billing information, all this data you can access using the variables and using this format of variables. If you need some other variables, for example, that are not related to splinks, then you can find it here. So it's a description of tweak. So the tweak is the templating engine that we use. So you can, you, you can find this name tweak and uh, this is an example how to make a date of now in this format. So I can make this date and put it there instead of best regards. I will just put the date here. You see, and now if I preview, it saves me the date here. And now let's send the message or before we do the send better, I guess is just, I can close it and change the number because number is not correct so in this case it should be this one and now we can do this we can send the welcome message again yes let's make sense message was sent and under walk administration and sms walks we have the list of sms that were sent here the warning is that we haven't enabled our sending so we have configured it and checked it but we haven't enabled that so to enable it we need to go there to the settings and send it so here's enable sms sending so this is the whole thing and now we can go back to administrating to sms and then this message will be sent so it checks every five minutes and if there is a pool of sending messages it will send it out if we need to create a new template we need to go to configuration and the templates and on the templates there is an option to select sms and there you see all the SMS messages. So for example, this is a blocking wave notification. So this is this message that we can change. Okay, we can change or we can create a new template. So regarding the notifications, if we go to our configuration again, and then under billing and the finance, we have notifications. So this notifications, as you can see, there are invoice notifications that are sent to email, pro forma and payment. And all notifications that I have, I'm sending only to emails, but I can also send it to SMS or I can send email and SMS. And in this case, I need to select SMS template, for example, invoice. There is, there is no SMS template for that. So I need to create the text for SMS. 
when the invoice is sent. But actually, like when I'm sending the invoice, maybe it's not needed to send the SMS. Maybe it's only good for, for the reminder settings. So that's why let's go for reminders. It's another option here. And under reminder, again, there is only email and reminders, but I can set up email and SMS. And uh, there will be a text here that will be sent to, uh, to my clients. And if I go to each single customer, I can see his settings there. So he has his reminder settings there. So the reminder message, SMS, email and SMS, and then there is a preview of the message. So this is the email message that is sent to the customer. And then we can also find the template for SMS and change it. So let's go to the configuration for the templates. Reminder SMS. SMS account. So this one SMS will be sent to reminding remind customers that your account is overdue. Your balance is to avoid service blocking. Please proceed with the payments. Okay. So Splinks has notifications which are used to notify the customer that something was done inside the platform, and then it has reminders that is sent uh, that are sent after his invoice is due. So I hope that that was clear and uh, thank you for your time.